All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Benjamin again. I'm going to show you how not to do methanol removal from uh, glycerin, from your biodiesel glycerin. Um, what you see here is a definitely very primitive, I'd even say pre, uh, well, pre something. I can't think of it, but anyway, <clears throat> here's what I'm doing wrong. First things first, see on top of there, that goop? Um, well, the brown goop is the glycerin, and the clear goop <clears throat> around there is, well, you probably guessed it, it is um, uh, hot glue. I used hot glue thinking, well, it's not going to get that hot, but it's getting hot enough to melt it, so I should have soldered it. I at least did um, that right on there. I don't know if you can see in that can, but you can see where it's spewing and it's starting to smoke. So I've already got a lot of flameage. I got an, a lot of flame actually. And I, I got this thing on the lowest flame setting, which that doesn't look very low to me. Um, something may be wrong with my regulator or something, but <clears throat> you can see smoke coming off there. So I'm just about done getting rid of all the methanol. Now the oil's just smoking, but I want to make sure I get rid of all the methanol, but <clears throat> I keep uh, keep the torch nearby, so that way I can just uh, double check to make sure, but um, the flames were reaching about a foot, foot and a half, maybe two feet on some of the peaks, but um, number one, don't use hot glue. Number two, uh, if you're going to do this without any kind of automatic controls, you need to babysit it. That's for sure. Number three, uh, make sure your line is, uh, well, this is a quarter inch fuel line, which I guess is okay because the fuel line only got to about 110 degrees, which is fine. But the problem with that is, is um, I don't have a cooling, I don't have a, I don't have an actual distiller on there. This line up is my distiller, so to speak, but it's not, uh, um, the uh, the actual the actual coil will serve as two purposes. One is you'll see there's a mess everywhere, and you see it spewing out like that. The coil will stop that from happening, and all the uh, glycerin will just will just drip back into the tank. It will drip back into your 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 uh, your your um your vat. Um, this is just a normal paint can I got from Lowe's, but anyways. This, this is it and there's about a about a half a gallon in there or so I was gonna do more than that but I'm kind of glad I didn't because I probably would have had a bigger um, probably would have had a little bit bigger thing but anyways as you see I did not have um, I don't have hose clamps on there and I did that for the reason that uh, just in case either a it got too hot uh, I didn't want it to I want to be able to pull it off and, and stop the reaction right away first by turning it off and then um, like I said I didn't want any blockages to happen and like I said if it got too hot where I saw the pressure the can expanding then I can just rip the hose off really fast yeah I could use a knife but I'd much rather just uh, rip the hose off and um, just let all the pressure evacuate that way if I saw the you know top coming up you know it's a flexible top so you know Anyway, it's not safe, so you got to babysit it and make sure you have a, a torch nearby with a handy lighter somewhere, but, um, well, I'm not too worried about that. Anyways, glycerin, biodiesel glycerin, methanol removal to make soap. This is KOH glycerin. I got a whole bunch. As you see, I got some here. They got to remove... And you'll see that I got three. There's three right there. And then I got two more. Oh, three more. Drums. And the, all these are full. And as you see, my son made a mess. So, don't let kids play with it. Anyways, <clears throat> thanks for watching. Leave comments. Thank you.